गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर विजिट टू आवर फैमिली वी नीड योर सपोर्ट इन लव प्लीज प्रेस सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड बेल आइकन इट्स टोटली फ्री गुड लक फॉर योर सेंस नाउ एंजॉय गाइज टुडे आई वॉज रीडिंग दिस अनालिसिस द पोएम द डिसेंडेंट सो आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग द वीडियो फॉर यू गाइज एज वेल द पोएम द डिसेंडेंट्स बाय कामला दास एंड यू कैन राइट डाउन इन कमेंट बॉक्स वट यू आर रीडिंग नाउ डेज एंड वट यू वॉन्ट फ्रॉम मी by kamla das is colored with nihilism and shows that decadence is irrevocable and there is no possibility of any redemption it ends on a note of pessimism we are not going to be ever redeemed or made new so in this poem you will get these lines kamla das had spent her youth in gentle sinning which was quite harmless No attempt was made to hurt or harm any partner in this sexual act, and you know she writes a lot about sexuality and these kind of things. Being purely sensual, it has no emotions, emotional side effects. It is the degeneration of true love which gives due place to emotional and spiritual satisfaction. For the poet, lust is. in substantial but love is substantial a loveless relationship can never spoil the lovers cold loveliness which is devoid of any emotional intensity the title of the poem the descendant the title of the poem is very apt and suggestive it shows the gradual degeneration of life in the absence of true love it points to the futility of life and men's inability to redeem it anyway in any way it shows that there is no scope for any ascendance or redemption in it she denies for any redemption it can never end in true union it is uh, the female persona's helplessness and frustration that leads to its decadence the tone of the poem is highly pessimistic which shows that there is no alternative to true love but death let's have a few lines we have spent our youths in gentle sinning even slightly mar our cold loveliness so you can take this word gentle sinning for uh, you know to remember the poem in this opening stanza of the poem we find kamla das she herself is the speaker in the poem admitting of the emotional defeat frustration and sense of nothingness in love relationship in her life she says that she has finally realized that her search for true love is not going to be materialized in life here the poet brings to our knowledge that the speaker and her partner in love have spent their youth in harmless sinning harmless sinning uh, she wants to convey that uh she did not betray anyone in that and no disturbance from any side by indulging in useless acts of love and so to say sexual activities so she was indulged in sexual activities but she says that it was not a true love it was just for uh, you know sexual activities say they often thought they were hurt but they never suffered from any permanent pain no bruise could even slightly spoil or leave behind any scar on the passionless love the speaker has belatedly realized the futility of lustful relationship in life it is a hollow relationship devoid of any emotional or spiritual excitement or thrills it can never end in the realization of love or genuine love by in substantial love and poet means that thin love or the love in name in name only so the speaker believes that they spend the glorious moment of their lives in futile the poet through this abstract says that the speaker and her lover had have lain in every weather that is they enjoyed every weather of the year they to not nailed to crosses but to soft wets and against softer forms that is their pleasure of love was not made beside the crosses but on the soft bed and softer forms by lurching the poet means leaving and by trance she means mood and contemplation 
we were the yielders question death but as child to mother's arm here the speaker says during our the speaker and her lover use were we were the yielders and used to yield ourselves to everything the poet says like a child to mother's arms but death is not preferable to life it is drought hot sauna and the last sob of the relative while life is moisture water semen and blood by the use of the word remove the poet means to remove that is to scrap remove the walls of wombs for memories we shall give ourselves to the fire or to devote in this lines uh, she says that the poet wants to say that the sense of disappointment and depri uh, deprivation marks the central theme of rex which is the barren and unredeemable life of uh, eunuch the poem brings out the poet's despair at her helpless unredeemable situation so uh, as you can see in that she is just totally uh, talking about her passion and uh, her experience she is sharing through the poems so hopefully you liked the analysis bye bye take care good luck for your exams